Ah, oh, good morning. Remember Caulfield last week? Caulfield race four, I had a really, really good bet, and a lot of people did. As a matter of fact, uh, it firmed a favourite. I'm talking about Amy Spoy. I thought it was a good thing, but unfortunately for me, it ran second. But a very good thing that's happening later, and we'll have investigate this, is how to make money by running second. So many operators these days uh, give bonus bets back if your selection runs second. So in other words, if your horse runs second, you will get a chance to have another bet on another race. Okay. Of course, what you don't get is that uh, money back. So, for example, if you had $50 on that horse, then you um, don't get your money back, but you get to have another bet, a replacement bet. Okay. Anyway. So this video is an educational video for WinForm members who have internet betting accounts. So I'll give you an example later. But anyway, well, I can give you an example now. If I go to uh, Bet Deluxe, and they should be over here somewhere, they're running a promotion today at Sandown at Warwick Farm. Uh, all races, if your horse runs second, you get $50 in bonus bets, provided you place a $50 bet. Okie doke. Now, there is a qualification on that, and that is that you can only take a fixed price. So it's a fixed price bet, and if you get your bonus bet, your bonus bet must also be a fixed price bet. But don't look a gift horse in the mouth because... <laughs> don't look a gift horse in the mouth because the reality is you're going to get a chance to get your money back uh, by backing another winner later on. So... It's a, it's a better deal, and a lot of the corporates are doing this these days, and it's really, really good, and I'll show you why. Okay, let's look at this particular horse, Amish Boy. It ended up, it was paying around $3.70 for the win, but I'll show you later that it was only paying around $1.50 for the place. So the reality is, say you wanted to have, um, well, say you wanted to have uh, $10 on it, but you wanted to get your money back if it runs second, you now have to place uh, $20 on the um, place bet in order to get your money back for your $10 win bet that lost. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so the new way is if you have your $10 on, and if in this case it ran second, you are actually getting your money back. So the equivalent of a $2 place dividend for us that's only paying about $3.70, $3.60 in the first place. It's a very, very good deal. And I advise you to take it whenever you can get it. There are a number of corporates offering this. In some cases, there are limited numbers of races where you might get your money back first, second or third. But the reality is that uh, the majority of selections you're going to make will either win or run second. Um, if they don't do that, they're unlikely to run. The chances of running third is much diminished. Anyway, and there is even one company, PointsBet, who was offering uh, first, second, third or fourth. In all cases, it is going to be your first fixed price bet. In other words, you're not going to be you're not going to be getting the best prices, but sometimes you are, depending if the horse is a good price in the first place. Anyway, let's just uh, go here, and I'm going back to um, this is uh, Rod Cleary's Vic Bet, and in that particular race, uh, there it was. Initially, the price was four dollars twenty, so um, you're actually better off taking the fixed price early. But anyway. You can see the uh, tote prices were $1.50, $1.50, and $1.40. And the uh, fixed price for the place was $1.55. So once again, uh, why would you want to back the horse each way when um, you can go and you can bet on that horse and uh, get some money back if it runs second or even in cases, some cases it runs third? So most of the corporates are offering you um, just a bonus bet and when you place your bonus bet, for example, with uh, Bet Deluxe, it can only be at a fixed price. Okay. Now, the difference between VicBet and other operators, um, when they make this offer, is that VicBet is refunding account holders cash. So if uh, you happen to have a VicBet betting account and they run this uh, money back second promotion, it actually goes as cash. So my very next bet that was coming up, was actually in the next race at uh, Gold Coast, and that was Spartan Jet, which we had on top and was paying 
$13, ended up paying $14.80 on a bonus bet you would have only been able to uh, back it at the fixed price. So you would have got not $13 back, you would have got $12 back. At VicBet, you're actually able to place it in a cash and get the best tote. And you would have got $14.80 back for the amount of money. So um, that's just the diff explaining the difference. And as of course, if you've gone to um, points bet, I'll just see if I can if I can bring points bet up. Here they are. Uh, so if I uh, look over here at uh, promotions, and today's promotions are, oops, Warwick Farm races three and four, runs second, third, or fourth, get fifty dollars back in bonus bets. The advantage is with your bonus bet, you are able to get your bonus bet on uh, at uh, best tote or place only or whatever. It doesn't seem to matter or even you can put it on an exotic bet. So just check what you can get with the various betting agencies, uh, even the TAB. The TAB don't like me. They don't take my bets. But the uh, or they, well, without referring it to a supervisor or any anyway. But um, if you get your money back, um, they offer several races a day where you can get your money back and you can forward that best bet. The only trick, there is a limited time you can use that bonus bet. If you don't use it within the uh, set time, uh, then you lose it. So um, anyway, as I say, they're not kind of giving me bets of any sort anyway, so it doesn't matter. So just bring it back again. Running second doesn't have to be a loss. Now, particularly if your horse is a very short-priced horse, um, you're still getting the equivalent money back. is the same as if it was uh, paying $5. So you could back a horse that's paying $2. And if it runs second, you're getting the equivalent of a $2 place bet back. That is absolutely amazing value. And once again, if you happen to be using uh, various accounts, one of the best ones you can use is uh, VicBet, obviously. That's at VicBet.com. And um, the money comes back in cash, which is which can be a, a much better deal. But I look on you deciding that for yourself. I just wish you all the best with your putting. And we look for every opportunity where we can get a better deal. And those um, people who are in certain states, they can't get those deals anyway. And you should be going to your legislators and saying, why are people in other states getting these deals? Why don't you let me get that deal? And don't let them use the excuse that it's to stop people from gambling too much. That's nonsense. The idea of it is so that you don't get as much money or advantage. It reduces your opportunity of making a fair profit. Don't trust the governments on these issues. They've been ripping you off, taking away your uh, place money for years and years and years for the last 20, 30 years. They've, uh, they round down dividends down to the nearest 10 cents on place betting. It's an absolute steal by governments in all states. Don't listen to them. Take advantage and wherever you can, wherever you get an opportunity, competitive advantage like these um, these various options, take advantage of them. It gives you a better chance against the bookmakers and, of course, the um, race field levies and everything that's imposed on us these days. Uh, good luck and uh, thanks for watching.